We're just doing, doing me and Ollie, we've just been tidying this pot end. Phil got a bit all overzealous with the little mini digger and he pulled our uh, pipe up. So drain was uh, collapsed, so we've sort of dug it out and bodged it up, but dike's in terrible state. Banks have, with it being so deep water all winter, banks have collapsed and, well, I don't know. Trouble is, every time you touch, touch the bank with the digger, the bloody, they're like blancmange, they sort of start falling in, we're making it worse. So the plan is to, uh, to get a mini digger and shape them in summer when they're a lot drier. I'll shape this bit anyway, so we decided to plough a bit of land, I don't know whether we're doing right. Look at the state of Edlands where we've been trailering sugar beet out. Um, but the main of the field isn't in bad condition at all. We've got drill on, but we just don't know whether to come come and drill on it. But it smells, the, the land smells stagnant. It just smells like, well, just horrible and stagnant, yeah. You can just smell like stagnant water. But actually, apart from this end, it is ploughing quite nice. But do we go get the drill or do we do we be patient and let it air a bit and try and I don't know, lose a bit of moisture? Calibrated drill because all seed runs different and it's uh, it's a lovely barley hawking mm, no not hawking I don't know but it's very bold stuff I've never heard of it before Curtis KWS Curtis and uh, it was to be fair beggars can't be choosers because that's all we could get and uh, I'll just show you look Oop, yeah. That's a beautiful barley. I think it's the boldest, boldest sample I've uh, I've seen, and it's 55,000 uh, grain weight. So it's yeah, cracking stuff. Your powers turns out like that. Uh, yeah, bang on. Uh, yeah, bang on. Oh. Could just do with one notch, one notch, and we won't even test it again. Um, just one at half ton. So yeah. Um, yeah, our calibration kit consists of a drum with a wire on it to put our Vardastad scales on it and a couple of tubs. They're for oil seed rape. That's out of Nick's kitchen. That was for oil seed rape. We won't need that again. Because I ain't growing the bloody stuff. What? Thank God. Yeah, everybody's sick to back teeth of oil seed rape. You know, um, it's just finished, isn't it? It's finished. So, right, we'll go give it a go. Rightly or wrongly, I don't know. Actually, this old girl is uh, destined to be changed. I mean, it's a bloody good drill, actually. We just want, I'd like someone on a disc coulter, just so I can get a lot more even. Uh, you know, like our, our land is very, very varied. So you can have like an heavy bit, a light bit, and light bit, obviously, you get it too deep, and heavy bit, if you get that happy medium, you can end up with it on top. So, yeah, it's done as proud of it. I mean, we've paid next to now for it, and we've had it since fourth season. God, it's shitty, is that Yeah, I can't It's just like blather everywhere. Quite pleased, it's going really well. Very, very wet patch at yon end, what we're, we're, we're sort of puddling through, but 
and he ain't got his GPS and he can't drive straight for toffee so but we aren't bothered about that that's the least of our worries today um, but yeah there's odd bit of seed on top but I would like to roll it but it's not going to get rolled this week I don't think um, and if it comes out and then we'll roll it but he's napping away nicely with plow Here we've got a red kite come to say hello. He's got front press on, but he's hardly using it. I mean, it's just there for ballast because back hell it is every, every drill. He usually uses the 630 with dual wheels on, but we thought the duals will just fill with kelt, fill with blather, and make a mess. But, and the 630's got a slight hydraulic problem, as in, well, we don't know. Frank, Frank doesn't even know. He's doing his research. It's got very jumpy in gears, and the hydraulics are, uh, are very funny. So, I'm pleased with how this operation is going. What do you lot think? All right, you bothered? All they're bothered about is getting their beat in them. You don't want your master ploughman criticising uh, Phil's ploughing because his depth wheel keeps dropping into wheelings from trailers and beat machines so I don't think the best ploughman could uh, could uh, make a right job on, on here but yeah it's turning over nice but very very wet the water content is uh, is at the maximum is if we wait for uh, that end to be dry we've paddled it that bad we've turned it just into a soup and it's a fortnight of dry weather off and then it'll need a bit of uh, bit of work like dragging it up and, and a, a lot, quite a bit of preparation so I don't know I think we're doing right I really do it'd be interesting to see because we'll drill that I know for a fact and it'll be in three weeks a month's time it'd be interesting to see which does best and I would like to bet that this fish, but it's two different crops, but it's starting to get wet where Phil's uh, ploughing very, very wet. Just sick of it, aren't we? As farmers, I know we're quite resilient, but blah, we're getting good at moaning at the moment. We really are. See, there's no leer. I don't think Phil will leave. Look, this is what we're up against. Look at state. It's just, I don't know. Hard work. 
Better start drilling yesterday oh, and uh, the headlands are absolutely horrendous. We had to cut the field in half and leave one half where beat machine and trailers had, had paddled. And Ollie's just raving all hell up, sort of with a super flow drag, just to put a bit of air into the land to let the surface water uh, down. And uh, so, I don't know, hopefully next week we'll get a chance to just drill that headland. Uh, but bloody hell, it's wet. And we didn't want all because it's focus rain today. Whether it comes as north, as north of us, I don't know. I'm being optimistic and we're going to miss it. But it's just sort of. All them wheelings we made yesterday will just fill with water, so we're just sort of trying to make it a little bit drier, but yeah, not easy, is it? served its purpose well really our little corral it's really kept it warm and they've done really well outside but uh, it's time that it was starting to sort of regrow and uh, we'll get it in with either spring barley spring oats but Christ it's shitty again there's been another few mil of rain this morning and yeah get back to square one I'm still in the market for a cattle box something about 20 24 foot long would be ideal just a box um we don't we aren't bothered if it needs quite a bit of work needs have a look you know I mean my dad's been paying fair strong money for these uh, these uh, limmies and continentals but I'd just ooh, I'd just be interesting to see what such as my Herefords would make in a star market there won't be nowhere near such as uh, that lady but they're nice fleshy uh, fleshy uh, cattle and they're, uh, I bet they weigh well as well. No, yeah, please. And they haven't cost a fraction. They've just, I mean, there's been a lot of messing about, but they haven't cost a fraction of what a Continental would have uh, cost to get to this stage. So, maybe onto something. Well, oh, they're very vocal. Bit of a sad day, really. We've sold the 2140. It's only going local to uh, a friend of ours who's got quite a collection of John Deere's and he's going to do her up and uh, yeah I'm glad it's gone to him actually because the story goes on like we've had it since brand new and this was the first tractor so I drove that and the 2650 when we left school we used to do powering with it, baling with it, Christ I bailed some little conventional bales with that old girl and uh, she's done about 14,000 hours and it's never been a lot of trouble we've had a couple of clutches in it never been into engine 
it had a shaft in the back end what was sheared but that was to do with a a, um, a, a binding PTO clock, clutch so it wasn't really her fault and yeah very porky little engine uh, I think there were 82 or 3 horsepower out at factory and yeah fan assisted oven there's no air conditioning and uh, but you could put the sunroof up and get door open and get a bit of airflow and yeah you didn't know didn't know nothing no difference so you just uh, oh like when i left school and i was driving that like a pig in shit so yeah sad day but anyway i'm glad tom's bought it so yeah it'd be nice to see her a bit more presentable you know like when he does her up a bit don't think he's gonna like do it up as in spray it i think he's just gonna make it more off farm condition right if you like this channel oh, hang on. they don't look out of place though among uh, uh the fancy limousines and and blues and sherries <laughs> Yeah, we had a fella on, fella on farm today, and I was valuing him a lot lower than than the, they reckon they were worth. So, but they are good, nice elephants. They are them bloody plain, horrible things. What you know, they do stand fairly well. They have their breeding's been fairly good. So, not like that. That young fella, he will be a beauty, won't he, next year? You know, that is proper breeding, isn't it? Right, if you like this channel, tickle subscribe or up our family's Yorkshire. Bye for now.